This is part 7 of the Facet N4000 paper tape punch restoration. Uh, we're now moving on to the um, tape reader. I've got the punch working, tape feeds working, all the electronics are working. I just have the Pasco problem to resolve. So uh, I thought it was time to see if the, uh, the reader works. had to do a few things with this. The motor wouldn't uh, turn at first. That was just a poor connection on this uh, uh, socket. Um, the rest of it I've checked, it's all fine. There is some shielding to go around this cable which I've taken off for now. It needed tidying up, it was um, split and, um, and corroded so I'll replace that. Uh, other than that, it actually works. So I'll put a tape into it. I had to configure it uh, using the program mode within the punch. But it's now set up to uh, talk to the terminal program with the same configuration as the punch. Uh, you can do a direct copy from the uh, tape reader to the punch, but I more often want to convert a tape to a file first. So that's what I'll demonstrate here. So I'll go and get the terminal program to start the tape reader running. Um, I'll have a, a caption down in the corner of the video so you can see the terminal screen. At the moment it's blank, but I'll go and send the command character to start the tape and you'll see the data appear in the terminal. So as you can see it's very quick. Um, what I can now do of course is just save the contents of the terminal program into a file and then punch that back out to a, a new tape. So I'll do that now. Again you'll be able to see the um, terminal program I'll save the data to uh, Notepad and then just send it back to the uh, the punch. Okay, so as you can see we now have a copy of the tape and of course I can run off as many copies of the tape as I want to now. It uh, works very well. The next step is to uh, start assembling the machine, get the plastic pieces repaired and uh, get it all put back together.